The candle we start with is a botanical palm wax candle, so we don't use any paraffin wax and we use an eco-friendly cotton wick. The palm wax is sourced from renewable sources and it gives a really clean, even burn. We use a very high percentage of fragrances, about 8% fragrance loading, which is considerably higher than a lot of other brands. And the burn time for the candles is approximately 60 hours. We use a really high concentration of essential oils, so there can be some discoloration, there can, some candles maybe burn a little bit more, some a little bit less. So the candle is available in this silver glass, which is quite unique. It's actually, they put the silver foil between two layers of glass, so you don't get any fingerprints on the outside of the glass, which is quite a nice touch. So the first fragrance is Vietnamese Rose and Delentii. The Vietnamese Rose is a very delicate rose fragrance. It's a pale pink flower. Um, and the Delentii orchid is um, very unique because it's an orchid that has a fragrance and orchids don't normally um, have a scent. The Delentii orchid was actually discovered last century by a French botanist called Monsieur Delenat, who discovered it in the 1940s and took it back to France and named it after himself, the Delentii. This delicate fragrance, uh, what I really wanted, I wanted to get the freshness of kind of newly cut flowers. So it's Vietnamese rose, bergamot, violet, rosewood and this Delentii orchid and it gives a very kind of delicate rose fragrance. The next fragrance is white jasmine and gardenia and this was really our signature fragrance. It's the first fragrance I developed inspired by the jasmine tree at the bottom of my road. The jasmine in southern Vietnam is everywhere and they actually have about 20, 30, I mean that I can even think of, varieties of jasmine and it's almost a national flower of southern Vietnam. With the white jasmine and gardenia I wanted to create a kind of sophisticated white floral fragrance. So we use white petals of jasmine, of gardenia and peony and the result is a very, I think, a very kind of rich white floral fragrance. It's a very elegant fragrance. So we combine white petals of jasmine, gardenia and peony and actually something I didn't know but the uh, Jasmine, for the jasmine oil, the petals are actually picked at night time when they um, are most in bloom to get the most intense fragrance. This is our um, signature fragrance and it's the first one I developed, uh, it's the first one I blended um, and it really reminds me of the street we lived in in Vietnam. I think it reminds me of kind of drinks on a veranda in the evening sun. It's a kind of sophisticated evening, um, kind of almost quite a cosy fragrance, it's a very homely fragrance. The next fragrance is agar wood or agar wood and amber and this is a really warm, rich, romantic fragrance. Um, agar wood is actually indigenous to Vietnam, it's sourced from the Aquilaria tree and it's a really valuable, almost sacred oil, agar wood. It's called the wood of the gods in Vietnam and it was cut almost to extinction last century because it's such a valuable oil. I'm working with a sustainable plantation project, working with 30 small farms in southern Vietnam, reintroducing sustainably grown agar wood to Vietnam. It takes seven years to produce agar wood oil for use in high-end sophisticated perfumery and we are really lucky to have the first sample of agar wood oil from this project. The agar wood and amber fragrance is a really rich and warm, all-encompassing fragrance. We use agar wood, amber, white amber, tuberose, vanilla, and I think this fragrance reminds me of curling up on the sofa with a log fire on a winter's evening. Um, it's a really romantic fragrance. This is a really unique fragrance because we're using agar wood um, and sustainably sourced agar wood um, and we're certainly the first people to be using that in Vietnam. The next scent is water hyacinth and lime blossom and this is probably one of our most um, unique. I think we're the only people using water hyacinth in a fragrance. Water hyacinth is a waterborne reed. You actually see it floating along the Saigon River in little patches of reeds. I always say it looks a bit like small islands. And we make the oil from the bark, the pale lilac flower, and the leaf of this reed. So it gives a really kind of fresh, woody, green fragrance. And we combine that with lime blossom to give a kind of citrusy edge. So it's a very fresh fragrance. This is the one that I wanted to 
and when you smell it you kind of think of freshly cut grass, you think of lying by a river on a sunny day, blue skies surrounded by green and plants. So I think it's a very fresh and original fragrance.